Good morning, everybody. It is January 4th, 2021. I haven't made a video in almost a year. So, my name is Charity, um, otherwise known as Wonderfully Hopeless. And you might notice a few things different. So, 2020 was not a good year for me. However, there were a few good things that happened towards the end of 2020. Um, I, I, I'm really not going to go into all of the uh, crappy things that happened in 2020. I think everybody had a pretty rough year. Um, on top of COVID, I had some um, additional things that made the year rough. Um, my husband is on disability now for Huntington's disease. Um, my puppy died. Okay, he wasn't a puppy anymore, but you know what I mean. Um, my father-in-law passed. So, just a couple of the rough things. Um, my grandmother had cancer. She is now cancer-free, which is exciting and wonderful. And that um, was great. My husband has a new puppy who is currently trying to get my attention because my husband is still asleep. So, and this thing will um, eventually be trained to be my husband's service dog. So, and that is my goal anyway. All right, get down, baby bear. So, yeah. Um, but, we bought a house um, at the end of 2020. That turned out to be um, a fiasco and a half, but we got it done. And it is um, a somewhat nice house. And okay, it's a really nice house. I love my house. Um, and once I finish unpacking, I'm still not unpacked, but the basement is partially finished. You can see that it's not completely finished. Um, it was, it did at one point have a drop ceiling on this side. There's a drop ceiling on that side, um, but there's not one on this side. So we'll put it back in at some point. Um, it's just not um, a priority right now. There's other things that we want to do first. So um, the whole basement or the majority of the basement is my craft space slash office. So you'll see, let's see if I can point correctly. That is my cross stitch over there, and my sock machine and my spinning machine are over there. New guinea pig, that was my husband's Christmas present to me. And then off screen, what you guys can't see is all my yarn and my knitting stuff. I also got really big into coloring in 2020. Um, I found that Coloring helped me more than um, my cross stitch and my um, knitting, largely because with the virtual teaching, um, my hand was not wanting to do the fine motor of the stitching and the knitting some days. So, uh, coloring has become quite the hobby. Um, and one of the nice things about having the entire, or the majority of the basement for my crafts is that table back there is set up for diamond painting and puzzles. I have a cart for my coloring supplies. Which you can see right here. So, yeah. Um, there are some good things to 2020, not a lot, but there are a few. So, um, I did not, I had a great start to my crafting 2020, and then I'd say about March when the pandemic hit really bad, um, yeah, um, I, I focused on one piece because that's about the time my life was getting crazy too, and then right about 
mm, oh, let's see, a week before Christmas we moved in here. No, two weeks before Christmas because I taught for a week in the basement. Um, and then I had a week off or two weeks off. So, yeah. Anyway, enough about 2020. As I told my students, it's the year we all want to forget. I'm good with forgetting it for the most part. So, what did I get done in 2020? Well, I had a few finishes. So let's look at my finishes real quick. All right. I have not framed these, and some of these are on the short list to get framed sooner rather than later so they can hang them up in my new house. So I finished Homes Where the Cake Is. Um, I absolutely love this and I want to get this framed and hung up in my dining room slash kitchen. So it's an eat-in dining or it's an eat-in kitchen. But this is going to go in there and I love it. So I just need to get it framed up. So here's that one. And then I finished strawberry shortcake. So my long-term goal with all the strawberry shortcake pieces is to make um, a quilt out of them once I get them all finished. So, you know, I'll start another one at some point. I finished my fairy. And she'll be framed and hung down here more than likely or given as a gift to one of my nieces. I finished the doctors, so I need to frame this and hang it in my husband's office or get it framed. I might actually get that one framed. Um, there's that one. I started and finished a Hague, so I did the, the QS. So I think it's Hearth of Gold. My friend did the mini and I, I agreed to do this, well, I goaded her into doing it by saying I would do it too and I neglected to, to mention that I wasn't going to do the mini, I was going to do the QS. So, um, that was fun. And then I finished and I actually kept up with my Animal Almanac by Frosted Pumpkin. And I love how this came out. Now my border on the end is pretty short, but I'm going to make this into a hanging. I'm going to do a, yeah, yeah, sorry, it's not even six yet, so brain's a little foggy. Um, I am going to make this into a wall hanging. That's the word I wanted. So um, I just need to get to a bigger town because I am now in a little town and my fabric choice is Walmart right now unless I want to drive to town so or drive to the bigger town so those are all my finishes for 2020 I have multiple knitting finishes some of them I still have some of them I don't however my knitting is upstairs in my bedroom packed because I don't have a display set up for it yet. So it's in a tote in my bedroom. And as I'm still teaching from home, I haven't been really um, pulling out my shawls because I've just been t-shirt and jeans and yes I can still wear my knitting with that. Matter of fact I have hand knit socks on. But um, as far as wearing my shawls, <sighs> um, especially since I don't have them out. Now when I would have them out, that would be different, but I don't have them out right now. And to complicate it, I haven't decided where I want to hang them. Now my husband suggested in the stairwell to the basement, I put up my display so that I can grab them as I'm going out and they're still displayed. I haven't decided. So, so in 2020, I started the year with the goal of finishing working down my whip pile. 
and I started strong. I, I started getting some whips done. But then life got crazy and I was stupid crazy busy. I'm still pretty busy, but life is starting to find a new normal. So I'm trying to get whips done. I've been working down both my knitting whips as well as my cross stitch whips. The knitting whips have been going better because I don't have to stare at a pattern as much as I do. Yes, no, go away, baby bear. Go find one of the kitties to play with. Um, so, um, Anyway, 2021, I'm going to continue to work down whips, and I'm hopefully going to get a little further. So, I didn't get any Christmas stitching in, so I am going to, and you know, I think I don't, this is the one I don't have a pattern. Hold on. So, I've decided that this Santa, it's the All-American Santa, let me find the picture of what it's going to look like. I think it's in the front of the book. Yeah. So, one of my friends got me um, this book. And it's, it's, uh, I think it's from the 80s. I don't remember. It's called Santa's, or Santa Remembered. And I am not a, um, American, um, the Coca-Cola Santa is basically the way to look at it. Um, the Santas that more embody, um, tradition are my preference. So... I really like Santas that, you know, don't look like the Coca-Cola Santa. I want the traditional Santa. And so this book has a little bit of history of Santa Claus, and then it has um, patterns, and they are based on postcards, I do believe. But you have things like this. That's much more what I want. In my house for Christmas. Well, the first one I chose to do out of this book was the Santa. So this is what the piece will look like when I'm finished. I started this like three or four, five years ago, and this is where I'm at. And I've just started doing some of the shading over here this year. So I'm going to try and finish him first thing this year. So this is what's currently on my scroll frame, on my stand right there. So I'd like to get him finished to start off my year of finishes. And then um, this is going to be a new start, but I was supposed to have started it in July. For my husband's birthday. Um, I am going to be doing, you know, it was our anniversary, the Ink Circles 99 bottles of beer. Um, my friend, Corey, gave me the paper pattern, but since Pattern Keeper has come out, I have also bought the digital pattern so I can do this on um, Pattern Keeper. Um, but it's handy to have the picture to say this is what I'm working on. Now, my husband makes beer. He loves, that's his hobby, is to make beer and to play games. So, what we're going to do is I need to, this week, um, get the threads pulled together and stitch the first shelf. And then this weekend, this is my goal, is to go buy the first five, six beers on the shelf. And then as I'm stitching the beer, he'll drink the beer and then we're gonna save the caps. 
have a little fragment with all the caps and stuff on it or some do I, should, I haven't decided but we're gonna save the caps so we have them um, but yeah so this will be something that we're going to do so he gets to try um, he has not had all of these various beers some of these are new to him some of them are not but we're just it's going to be a, a couple's thing he's gonna try a new beer and I'm gonna stitch it so I got the call for fabric for it. I just need to pull the floss together and get the first shelf stitched. So that's going to be my new start. But that's going to be something that gets worked on regularly. So I can get it finished by the end of the year is my hope. Um, the next project is an adaptation of the Awareness Ribbon Mandala by Ink Circles again. So I want to finish this by May. Which is when you have, which is the Awareness Month for most um, rare diseases. So HD is no exception. May is the Awareness Month for it. So. I am stitching the Awareness Ribbon Mandala in blues and um, a little bit of purple. So Huntington's disease is re represented by blue. Juvenile Huntington's disease is represented by purple. Part of the reason why I don't have children is because of the junior disease. So there's that. And I want to get that finished quickly. So hopefully the Santa and then um, that piece. And then I also want to finish in short order this piece. This is my uh, Victorian Harbor view. And it's hard to see on this fabric with this lighting. I'm gonna have to get better lighting down here. But um, it also doesn't help that I've only done the light colors. <laughs> so um, working on her dress. So yeah. But I also have my pirate sent out. He is sitting upstairs so that when I am working on a pair of socks, um, or when I am just hanging out with company or um, with my husband, I have a pair of socks up there and I have a um, the Pirate Santa to stitch up there just so I have something to work on, keep my hands busy. Um, we have moved back to my hometown. So um, he has family living here um, and almost half, not not quite half. Two of my four brothers live here with their families. My mom's here, my grandmother is here, my aunt and uncle are here. Um, so I have a fair bit of um, family between everything here. So this seemed like a good place to be. Um, and it's working out pretty good so far. Um, it's definitely cheaper the my monthly mortgage is way cheaper than my rent was so that's always exciting so that's been great um, so yeah um, that that is kind of what's been going on crafting wise it's my plan um, I have a sweater to finish for knitting I could show you that projects. So I just finished a started and finished a poncho um, in the last few months, but it is blocking, so I'm not going to get that out. However, I also started a sweater. Um, let's 
So I have a sweater and I am on the sleeves. So getting close to being done. Just have to do the sleeves. So hopefully that will be my next. That's what I've been working on next. I'm really trying to work down the whips. So sweater is obviously plus it's so close to being finished. Um, there's that one. And then this is almost embarrassing how little I have done. Make sure this is the this isn't even the right one. Uh, where is the right project? This is the one that I pulled out and haven't restarted. Um, so I have both hug shot and um, I can't remember what the other one was. There was hug shot and we have to go look it up. Oh, Breath and Hope and Hug Shot. So um, I wasn't loving the way it was looking, so I pulled Breath and Hope out and um, I haven't restarted it because I started Hug Shot when it came out. And I decided, in all my infinite wisdom, that I was only going to do one at a time. So, Hug Shot has gotten this much done before I decided, you know what, I'm going to finish some of my older whips and I'll come back to it. So, I have finished all of my older whips. I have a travel project um, for when I go to places where I don't want to keep my nice yarn. Although I'm not living that as much right now, so I don't know. I might pull it out, I haven't decided. And then I have a pair of socks, but these were my um, travel. They went um, in my bag. They were supposed to be um, this school year's socks, but we haven't been in school. So um, this is the yarn I dyed myself. And it's more red than it's showing up on the screen. Not a lot, but more red than that. Um, so yeah, um, we haven't been going to school, so I haven't been working on them. That was my sit through meetings and everything else. And I haven't been sitting through meetings largely. I mean, I always have to have the meetings that are on. Um, Zoom or Google Meet or whatever, but I just, I have it. I have a new start that I said I was going to start Christmas Eve, but I had company Christmas Eve. Um, my grandniece and nephew spent the traditional week. I didn't really have time, so I said, oh, I'll start it on New Year's Eve. That didn't happen either. Um, so, it's here. And, you know, I was going to start it last Christmas too. It, it's sitting in a Christmas bag. I get to working on the other projects and I don't get around to starting it. And it is very much Christmas colors, so it might wait until next year at this point. Because that's just the way it is. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm sitting right now. Um, I am also attempting to finish the diamond painting that's on the table. It's the it's a big one. Um, so, yeah, I'm mean, slowly getting back to my crafting time. Um, obviously, I haven't done any over the holiday, really, because I had... Um, my niece and nephew and I've spent time with them. So yeah, um, 
when I get my craft room more set up, I will give you a tour, but right now things are set up-ish. Um, I need some more display unit or storage units and display units and, and all that good stuff. So once I get it ready, I will show it off. But I am going to try and get back into videos. Um, again, it will be whatever crafting I'm doing, whether it's spinning, whether it is um, my sock machine, coloring. So I'm not going to make a video for each type of craft, um, but, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't done videos in almost a year, so maybe I'll change it up. Maybe I'll do a video per craft. I don't know. All right, you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.